morning, Mr. Morgan. Make a big pot. I'm starving. Hey, Strauss. Good morning. Always good to see you. Hey. How are you holding up? It's like a nightmare I can't wake up from. It will get better, Mrs. Adler. Okay. Uh-oh, Dutch is thinking. <laughs> this can't be good. I'm not even gonna dignify that with a response. Dutch is thinking. <laughs> this can't be good. What's your... Problem. Damn child! Hi. Good morning. My lady. Don't know what we're gonna do with you. Oh, I don't either. At least Uncle's happy and lazy. You're adding nothing. Oh, well, I'm next, am I? Don't worry, I'm just playing with you. Hey, get away from her! Oi! Morning to you. Morning, Arthur. Doing a good job there. Thank you, Arthur. So don't let me disturb you. Sure, Arthur. Nice to see you, ladies. Morning, Arthur. You're doing a good job there. Thank you. Sorry, shouldn't distract you. Yeah. Sure. Working hard there? I guess. Don't forget, lift with your knees. Good job, Arthur. Morning, Arthur. Some provisions there, do you, Arthur? Can anybody spare me a bite? Oh, it's you.
You're only gonna have to shovel that ass manure later. Their tummies were growling earlier. Y'all ride the hell out of them horses. Have a lovely meal, folks. Not you. Morning. <laughs> hey. You're looking good? Thank you. Well, I guess we know the answer to that. See you later. You should just be wandering around here, friend. Not a thing happens around here without an Odrisco saying so. Understand you really me? You're rob done me. here! That all you got? May you be a lesson to anyone else that comes at the Odriscos! It. You're gonna burn in the lakes of hell! You barely touched me! That was dainty! Who's talking now, huh? Boy. <laughs> 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 
Cameron, where are you? Swanson! You hear, Reverend? Come on. What's the hold up? Watch yourself. Look out. Quiet. I just went up and told Big Sally herself that I know how things work. Look where you're sure. going. But there are only so many times I can be disrespected like that in public. Mr. Morgan, I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your God has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. <laughs> No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him. He's finished. None of us force liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither. But seeing, I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. Oh. Well, how's about you playing his place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Sure. I'll play a few hands. Well, sit yourself down then. I'm Luther. This is Marvin. Fortunate for you both, we're being gentlemen about this. Same goes for you. So, how you two know each other anyway? Don't seem like the likeliest of friends, if you don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're his chaperone? I guess it's something like that. Can we play? Hmm. Somebody put on his big boy pants this morning, hmm? He can't be no real clergyman. <laughs> he committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's drifted a little in recent years. And life is a challenge to all of us. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> <laughs> Hardly a big finale from me. Don't laugh. <laughs> For Christ's sakes. <laughs> yes, come on. He's a decent fella going through a bad time. Disrespect him again, and you'll find yourself in a bad time, too. All right, all right. Just trying to have a little fun here. It is a game, after all, mister. Check. And another check. Why don't that surprise me? Well, ain't you excited? Nah. Gonna start small here. Is that it? That's it. Here. I think... No way. You're bluffing. All right, what do we got? Ah, uh, no. This... Ridiculous. Hell, you won with that? <whistles> nice.
You're gonna have fun getting him home. Ah, well. Oh, come on. I'm a chick. Let's start this low for now. Oh, come on. This ain't uh. kid poker. I'll check. Check. Let's see then. Uh, yes, right, then. that's it. Damn. Hmm. Better than nothing. Not again. I admire your perseverance, at least. Come on, you got this. <clears throat> I'll see you. Check. Come on, you pair of misers. I'll call. Uh, check. Not for me. You should just go play checkers the amount you check. Take it easy, will you? Oh. All right, what do we got? Damn, I Christ. got lucky there. Jesus, you got lucky there. That's as it should be. Come here. <laughs> Gentlemen, this is getting too rich for me. Well, sit down. Oh, I'm done, friend. It's been a real education. Come on, Rip. Where is he? Where'd he go? Who? The Reverend. Where it? <sighs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy looked kind of crazy, mister. Swanson! Get your hands off him. I didn't say a word. You'll keep. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. Come on. Oh, my God. You killed him. Hey, you! Get back here! You better stop right there! Stay stop. away from me! Bitch! Hey, you! Stop! I said stop, damn it! Okay, okay. You tell anyone what you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. On uh, second thoughts, you can give me all your money, too. Okay, here, just take it. Just, just please let me go. Are you kidding me? Go, you idiot. Reverend, get off the damn tracks! 
You crazy? What are you doing? Come on, my friend. It's just a simple mistake. You can still be saved. What have you done with your foot? It appears to like this place and wants to stay. Get your foot out of here! Twist your leg, you drunken yeah. bastard! Come on! <laughs> 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 Thank you, sir. Oh, 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 oh no, you don't. What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard. Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But... Mumbling about now. Uh. Yeah. Wonderful. You shut up. I don't have to deal with this Flush of diamonds. Easy, easy. Hey, folks. Thank you, Arthur. I should have known. I was wondering when he'd show up. Tent to sleep it off. There he is. You're too easy on him, Arthur. <laughs> you better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. <laughs> oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor <laughs> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll. Keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky.
are, sir. Thanks for all your efforts. You're very welcome. Kieran. Oh, great. Comfortable there? I can't even lie down. It's agony. Ah, oh, stop moaning. How you feel? A little better. Because it's about time you did something to goddamn help around here. I'm only kidding around. I could say the same about you. You ain't right in the head. Hey, Arthur. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. You gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take mm -hmm. them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Yep. Lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there.
Here. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Well, lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Go left here, down the main street. Sheriff's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Ooh, caught me off guard right there. What's wrong with you? All right. Here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. Imagine Paris and so that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Amen. So, what do you need? <laughs> Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Full stock list in the catalog here on the counter. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? Lamb or a sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. Look at this. A jaw harp. What is this list of yours? I uh, got a lot to replenish after that god-awful time in the mountains. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep. 
That's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. All the best, fellers. Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Push Tilly and Karen. I think at the hotel, they were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Get your hands off me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. Huh? You can go kiss a damn snake. <laughs> Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go wait with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. What was that all about? Just someone I used to know. Can I help you, sir? I, I do all I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. No trouble now, please! A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. I paid for nothing. One more. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But. Stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. I hope uh, everything's okay up there. After you. Yep. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched uh, me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Yeah. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get! I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. 
Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Oh, that's my horse. Just borrowing it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. Now please pull me up. Please. I... All right, come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh, here, you want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh, that's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense. In this year old mind. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Come on, girl. Get it. Back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. You borrow from the O'Driscoll boys. Hey, you pay with the O'Driscoll boys. Soft as silk. Every one of us O'Driscoll's gonna piss up. <laughs> You're a dead man now. Keep them coming. There's no best in the O'Driscolls. This is it. Wasting my time. Should have walked away. You all right? You might have just saved my life, stranger. You're a gentleman. They won't bother you no more. <laughs> if, I, 
If only there was more men like you and less of them damn O'Driscolls. I'm, I'm, I'm going to see to my ailings. Thank you, mister. Really. Gentlemen. Evening. <clears throat> mister. Evening, friend. Hey, mister. New to the shop? Well, I use this space as a blacksmith, too, so... Let me know if you need me to grab something for you from the catalog. Hey, careful with the pages. It's yours now. How about you get some new sites for this, huh? Good, good. I bet this will shoot better with some new sites. Smile on your face, guaranteed. Well, it doesn't hurt to stock up on ammo. You never know. You know what? Bet you you could use some rifling on this thing. It's yours now. How about you get some new sights for this, huh? You need anything else, let me know. Just ain't no end to fine tuning your gun, you know? Hank told me a man of the clergy. Bye. Howdy. Howdy. I'm just in a friendly mood today for some reason. Well, that's good, huh? Anyway, guess I'll be on my way. Next time, then. Well, look here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. Well, I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Attracts delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than land and rickets without even pulling a trigger. Gets some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. The feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. And we need him alive. That's an important point. 
Alive, I got it. Damn. Not again. Here. Are you Benedict Albright? Oh, sir? Huh. Kind of look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I, I heard him. I heard good things. I'll pay in gold if you could help me find him. It's just my mother's real sick. Oh, well, if that's the case, if it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, you know, a medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> <laughs> what? Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. I'm taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. And there's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Come on, partner. That's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This... this is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Right. Hold on. I'm slipping. Shit. <laughs> oh, oh, you saved me. Now, come on, buddy. Let's make this easy. What, you're taking me in? It's just for questioning. Oh, you saved my life. Ain't we had enough drama? I, I'd be better off jumping. I, they expressly told me not to kill you. Oh, this is about you. Don't jump. Or, or what? You can't shoot me. No. Please. I'll take my chance. Come here. Uh, bye, friend. I really do not like you.
Easy, girl. Help! Help! Come here. Come here. Okay, now. Who made you go? All right, let's take you in. This is uh, very kind of you. Okay, girl. Yeah. Oh. Oh, uh, sir. I think I must be suffering from exposure. to keep blacking out. Oh, sir, I must warn you, my temperature is subnormal. I have medicine in my pocket. Would you pass it to me, please? Oh, sir, this isn't necessary. I'm a medical man, a healer. It's all just a big mistake. Oh, I don't feel very well. I told you to shut up. Well, who made you judge? <laughs> I'm only in it for the money. Oh, I don't feel well at all. You're a bully, sir. God. You don't understand you more. And... Oh, my lord. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Uh, Mrs. Caldor was, uh, was just leaving. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's been some terrible mistake. I never did it. Any of it. I thought I told you to shut up, partner. Oh, no. oh, but I told but you. But nothing. Shut up. And uh, good luck. Oh. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. You ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner. I've already forgotten. Now, sir, um, how much was you offered? Uh, $50. Here. Thank you. Madam. Uh, please, remember what I told you. 